All right, let's look at how to overload functions. So first of all, what is overloading functions? Well, if you have a couple of different functions that have different parameters, and it's obvious to the compiler that the parameters are different, you can use both those functions as, well, the same name. So I'm going to go ahead and make two functions. So I got the first one, int, and I'm going to call this one add numbers, and I'm going to pass in int a and int b. So what this one does is it just returns a plus b. Then I create another one called add numbers. And this will be string. So add numbers. You can see the same different name. And then do this one. String A and string B. And this one, I just add them together by concatenating the strings. So I do return All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and try running these two functions with the same name. So I have a C out statement. And this one I'm going to return add numbers and I'm going to pass it one and two and because it knows that one and two are both integers or can be considered integers it will use the one that uses integers now if there was another one that had doubles it would be confused and that would not work well so you need to have actually something that's different and this one right here add numbers and I'm going to have the first one be one and the second one be two and then I go ahead and do my end right here now both functions have the same name but different sets of parameters and so let's go ahead and run this and we'll see what happens to the code. So if I run them, the first one comes out with three because it adds them together and the second one concatenates them. So string A gets attached to string B and passed back. And here we go. So this is how you can do overloading of functions. So function overloading.